You're listening to the Northfield Podcast with Caleb Gordon. More information on Caleb can be found at www.calebgordon.com. Okay, welcome to the podcast. So I want to try something a little different. Um, This week, since it's the new year, what I want to try to do is put out enough content this week for you guys just to be encouraged and, um, I don't know, just maybe help you for this week. Um, and so here's what I want to talk about today. It's praying for our friends, praying for our family. And and one of the verses that I like to pray for my family on a regular basis and for my friends on a regular basis is actually Ephesians chapter three and starting in verse 14, actually it goes 14 through 21. And uh, I pray this on a regular basis. and, And what I sometimes do is I put people's names in the spots where it says you or your, like I'll, I'll add someone's name if I'm, if I'm p- praying specifically for them or for a specific circumstance. And so I, what I want to try to do for you guys is read this text and, and hopefully it, it encourages and helps on some level in some way. Uh, and maybe you can even look at that and read that um, and, and pray that for, for your family. So here's the text. It's Ephesians chapter Three, and we're going to start in verse 14. Bear with me just a few minutes here on this. It's verse 14. For this reason, I bow my knees before the Father, <clears throat> from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that according to the riches of his glory, he may grant you to be strengthened with power through his spirit in your inner being, so that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you being rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what is the breadth and the length and the height and the depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with all of its fullness of God. With all the fullness of God, I apologize. Now, to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think according to the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus through all generations forever and ever. Amen. So that that's a text that I like to just read when I'm when I'm praying specifically for a circumstance for my family or praying for a specific circumstance for my friends. And just just to see that. And and I love that that part here. May that we may have strength to comprehend with all the saints what the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, that you may be filled with the fullness of God. That I mean that to know that, to understand that, that that to comprehend that is so huge. And my hope for us is, is that this week the little things that I'm putting out here would would really cause us to get on our knees and pray for our family, pray for our friends, pray for those around us, um, just to cause, to stir up in us a desire to want to see Christ work mightily in friends and families' lives, um, to try to give them, I'm, I'm trying to even grasp with my, my thoughts and my words in this moment, because sometimes it's difficult, but just, just to pray that, that God would just reveal himself and that his Grace would be sufficient for those people and and, and that you're praying for this week. And my hope is that God's grace would be sufficient for you this week, that you'd find him to be your all-sufficiency. That's, I mean, that's it. And I love this in verse 20. It says, Now to him who is able to do far more abundantly than all that we can ask or think according to the power at work within us. What's the power that's at work within us? It's the gospel of Jesus Christ. It's Christ working in us and through us. And as a result of that, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus throughout all generations. May this all bring us back to this thing, to know that it's all about Jesus and it's all about his glory. It's all about what he has a desire for us to see and understand. So my hope for us is that we that we pray for our families this week. We pray mightily for them. In fact, what I'm going to do right now is I'm, I'm going to pray for us uh, as we as you finish out this. This is a small, like I said, I'm going to put these out um, a couple times this week, just to hopefully encourage you, some bi- little mini Bible studies and just the devotional thoughts. So, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus that you would give strength and encourage to those that are listening. Father, give them um, understanding and wisdom in the places where they go. Father, I pray that you give favor um, and you'd walk mightily with them. You walk before them, so that they know beyond any shadow of any doubt that you're with them. 
Guard and protect, Father. Guard our hearts from sin. Guard our minds from sin, just having presumptuous sin in our lives. Father, pray that you guard us from that and you protect us from all of that iniquity that has a desire just to overthrow our lives. Father, guard us from the evil one who has a desire to kill, steal, and destroy. Father, help us to understand and realize who you are and what you have a desire for us and that you want to be glorified through us. Um, Guard us. We love you. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, guys. Have a good week. Go get them.